It's morning and I'm in the kitchen drinking tea with Rich. After he's left, I go up to my workroom. The drawing on my easel is still unresolved and I slide it quietly into a folder. I know I just need to follow my nose, but I can't seem to pick up the scent of my next idea. I sit. I remember the alphabet chart from a film I watched the other day. I think I'll make one of my own. Is that an idea? I'll stick paper from my collection onto the pages of a small sketchbook and paint an object on each page. That's four decisions already. On the edge of sleep that night, I think, A is for armchair, and realise I want to paint things from real life. Five decisions. B is for boots. C is one of a pair. Relics at the end of that sad holiday. D stops me getting soil under my fingernails. The images start to speak. They need to be everyday things that belong to me. Seven decisions. These were kept in a wooden box and only allowed out on Sundays. G. Suggested by Rich and my favourite image so far. I'll add it to my email signature, 8, and change the object every few weeks, 9. The title for this work comes to me at the same moment, 10 decisions. We've been together for 26 years, and for me, one of the biggest commitments was when we merged our toolkits. The work gently reveals itself and I notice that the armchair is bigger than the other objects, so I paint this. Eleven decisions. Its fat little body rolls away across the bedroom floor when I reach out to turn it off. I don't remember when I got this. J is from when we cleared Mum's house. I wonder about text to go with the images. Twenty-six letters in the alphabet, 26 words for each letter. 12. Dad's pruning knife, kept with the blade stuck into the wooden stable wall. When I'm working on the allotment, he's never very far away. L is for labelling bunches of mint and meadow sweet. Memories of Hower singing. Vero asks if I'll put the images together when they're finished, but it's this process I want to share. Thirteen decisions. N. Danny made this for me. O. I hated them when I was young, but I love them now. I think about what an ancient language painting is. I'm really busy with paid work and worry I've lost my thread. So I go upstairs and paint Q. R. Thick brown ones saved from bundles of post. Blue ones from bunches of watercress. Thomas comments on my signature and sends me a poem with the lines Note the way the soap dish enables you. And when his email arrives, I'm already painting. S.